The boy who cried wolf. Once there was a shepherd boy who took all his sheep up on the mountain to have some grass. He was sitting there but he was very bored. One day he thought of playing a prank. He started shouting, "Wolf came! Wolf came! Please help! Wolf came!" Listening to this, all the farmers who were working under the hill came up running to help the boy. When they reached there, they saw there was no wolf. They became very angry, but the boy, when he saw the farmers, he started laughing. Seeing this, all the farmers were very angry and they scolded the boy that if next time you play such prank, we would not come to help you. Again, the next day, the boy played the same prank again. He started shouting, "Wolf came! Wolf came! Please help!" And the farmers ran up again to help the boy and they saw no wolf again. Everyone was very angry and they left in anger. After a few days, the shepherd boy was with all his sheep on the hill again. And suddenly, really a wolf came and the wolf started attacking all his sheep. The boy got very scared. He started climbing up the tree to save his life. And then he called for help. Wolf came, wolf came, please help. But all the farmers did not trust him and did not come to help the boy. But the wolf, he attacked all the sheep and he killed a few. After looking at all this, the boy realized lying is a bad habit. If you lie, then people will not trust you. The moral of the story is nobody believes a liar even if he is telling the truth. The hen that laid golden eggs. Once a farmer was living in a village. He was sitting under the tree. He was very poor. His days were passing with difficulty. One day, someone gave the farmer a hen. That hen gave one golden egg every day. That farmer sold that golden egg every day. Soon he became a rich man. All the people in the village started respecting him. The farmer became greedy. He thought that if the hen gives a golden egg every day, inside the hen's stomach there will be so many golden eggs. If I get all the golden eggs in one day, I will be the richest man of the entire village. The farmer took a knife and cut the stomach of the hen. What did he see? He saw that there were no golden eggs inside the stomach of the hen. Mm. Poor farmer. He did not get any golden eggs and he even lost his hen. The moral of the story is to not be greedy. This honest milkman. Once upon a time in a small village there lived a milkman. He was very greedy. He had to cross a river daily to go to the city where his customers lived. The milkman used to mix the water from the river into the milk and sell it to his customers and earn good profit. Days passed and he became very wealthy through dishonest means. One day he collected dues from all his customers to celebrate his son's wedding. After collecting all the money he purchased new clothes and a lot of gold ornaments on his way back home while crossing the river his boat hit a rock and turned upside down all his new clothes and ornaments sunk inside the river he saw this and was very upset he started crying suddenly the milkman heard a voice coming from the river it said do not weep whatever you have lost is what you had earned by cheating your customers the milkman realized his mistake the moral of the story is honesty is the best policy the ant and the grasshopper once it was a beautiful spring day 
a grasshopper was singing and dancing and enjoying the spring day. Suddenly, an ant passed his way. The ant was a hard working ant. The ant, with all the hard work and effort, was taking a particle of corn home. The grasshopper said, Instead of walking all day, why don't you come and sit and talk to me? The ant was very intelligent. The ant said, I am gathering food for the rainy days. You should also do the same. What will you give your family to eat and stay during the rainy days? The grasshopper replied, I have lot of food for right now. Why should I think about the rainy days? The ant was very intelligent. She did not pay any attention to what the grasshopper was saying. She gathered more and more food before the rains came. One day, it suddenly started raining. The rains came much earlier than expected. The poor grasshopper did not have any place to stay and any food to eat. The grasshopper went to the ant for help. The ant reminded him of what he had said earlier. But the ant was very helpful. She offered him some food to eat and a place to stay. The moral of the story is, if you do not work at the time of working, later you will face difficulties. Who will bell the cat? Once there was a mouse town in which a lot of mice used to stay. Once that mouse town was visited by a cat. And since the cat had visited, everyone in the town was very scared. They could not sleep at peace. So one day, all the mice wanted to have a meeting. They wanted to decide of how to get rid of the cat. One small mice suggested, how about tying a bell around the neck of the cat? That way, whenever the cat comes, the bell will ring and we all can escape. Everyone thought that it's a great idea and they all agreed to the small mouse. Till then, a wise and an old mice suddenly said, but who will bell the cat? Everyone was astonished. They started looking at each other. The wise and the old mice said to the small mice, How about you tie the bell around the cat's neck because you gave this brilliant idea? Everyone started looking at each other. The small mice said, Oh no, no, I cannot tie the bell. I'm sorry. Everyone realized what the old and the wise mice was trying to say. The wise and the old mice said to the small mice, Next time, before giving any idea, you should think over it. The moral of the story is, even the greatest ideas are nothing if they cannot be implemented. King Midas Golden Touch Once, there was a king named Midas. He was very rich. He had so many palaces and a large kingdom. But he was very unhappy. One day, he was praying to God and suddenly God appeared. King Midas asked God, Oh God, please grant me a boon. Whatever I touch should turn into gold. God was happy. He said, Your wish is granted. King Midas was very happy. King Midas touched his throne and that turned into gold. He touched the chairs, the tables, the vases. He touched everything and everything turned into gold. King Midas was very happy. He thought he was the richest man in the world. And suddenly, King Midas touched his dinner. And what did he see? He saw that all the fruits and all the food turned into gold. King Midas was astonished. He thought that he won't be able to drink or eat anything.
funny thing. Suddenly, his daughter came running to meet her father. And when the father put his arms around his daughter, what did he see? He was shocked. He saw that his daughter also turned into a statue of gold. Oh no, no. Oh please, I do not want any more gold. I want my dear daughter back. I beg of you God, please, please take away your boon. Please, I want my dear daughter back. And suddenly, God appeared. God said, this is magical water. If you sprinkle this water on everything that turned into gold, everything will come back into its original form. King Midas was very happy. He sprinkled the magical water on everything that turned into gold. Suddenly he realized that everything came back to its original form. He got back his dear daughter. King Midas was very happy. The moral of the story is do not be greedy. The bundle of sticks. Once there was a small family where lived a father and his three sons. His three sons used to fight amongst each other. Whenever the father saw them fighting, he used to become very worried. One day, the father got an idea. He decided to call a meeting. He called all his sons and gave them a bundle of sticks in their hands. The father asked the children to break the bundle of sticks. All the children tried really hard, but they could not succeed. They failed in breaking the bundle of sticks. Next, the father opened the bundle of sticks and gave each child a single stick and asked the child to break the stick. Each and every child tried and could easily break the stick. The father explained to the sons that son, if you always remain together like the bundle of sticks, you will always remain strong and no one will be able to break you. But if you stay separated or single, then anyone can easily break you. On this, the children understood their mistake and promised to the father that they will always stay united. The moral of the story is, unity is strength. Controlling anger. Once there was a little boy who always used to get very angry. One day, his father told him, Whenever you get angry, you must hammer one nail into the fence. As the boy always used to get very angry, on the first day, he had to hammer 30 nails in the fence. Over the next few days, the little boy learned to control his anger. So now, the number of nails the boy had to hammer gradually came down. The boy realized that it was much more easier to control his anger than to hammer the nails. Finally, one day came when he realized that he was not getting angry anymore. He rushed to his father and shared to him about this. His father was very happy. Now the father told him that whenever you are able to control your anger, you are supposed to remove one nail from the fence. As the days passed, the young boy was able to remove all the nails from the fence. He was very happy. He went and told this to his father. His father caught his hand and took him towards the fence. The father said, Well done, my son. But look at the fence. Even though you have removed the nails, the holes are still there. The fence is not the same. Similarly, when you say things to someone in anger, the scars always remain. The moral of the story is, anger is a bad thing. You should never get angry. The man and the cat. One day, an old man was walking by the road. Suddenly, he saw a cat stuck inside a hole. The cat was very scared and was trying to come out of the hole. So the old man put his hand forward to help the cat. The cat got very scared and out of fear, she scratched the old man's hand. The old man pulled his hand back out of pain. But the old man did not give up. He kept on helping the cat. But the cat kept on scratching his hand. 
another man was passing by and he saw all this he told the old man why are you trying to help the cat when she is hurting you again and again on this the old man said i am doing my work and the cat is doing hers my work is to help the cat and the cat's work is to protect herself the old man did not give up he kept on helping the cat again and again and finally the cat came out of the hole and she was very happy the moral of the story is sometimes we might face difficulties while helping others but we must help them fox and the monkey once upon a time there was a jungle full of animals amongst all the animals there was a monkey all the animals decided to have a meeting and decide the ruler of the jungle all the animals asked the monkey to dance the monkey jumped danced sang and entertained everyone all the animals loved his dance and even they started dancing all the animals were very happy and therefore they crowned the monkey the king the fox was also present there he did not vote for the monkey and therefore he was very angry and he decided that the monkey was not a good king one day the fox was walking in the jungle suddenly he came across a trap on that trap was a piece of meat he got an idea he ran to the monkey king and said sir sir i have a treasure for you and i haven't touched it because it belongs to you my majesty the monkey became very greedy he followed the fox to the trap and the meat when he saw the meat he got excited and he jumped to catch the meat and he got stuck in the trap the fox saw this and he started laughing he told the monkey you cannot become our king because a king should be able to take care of himself as well as all the others if you cannot take care of yourself how will you take care of all of us the fox ran to all the animals and told them about this soon all the animals realized that a true king should have all the leadership qualities not only the entertaining qualities and therefore another meeting was held and lion was made the king the moral of the story is to become a good leader you should have all the qualities